with springtime comes bugs and lots of them, but doctors are warning about one spider you can find right here in the valley. In fact, one person in southern Indiana was killed just this week because of that spider's bite. News 10's Rondrell Moore joins us live in the studio to explain what doctors say you should be on the lookout for. Rondrell? Mark Patrice, officials are blaming the death of a 42-year-old Evansville man on the bite of a brown recluse spider. While deaths from the spiders are quite rare, doctors don't want to see any more fatal cases. That's why they're suggesting a few things you should be on the lookout for to stay safe. This is the brown recluse spider. You can identify it by the violin-shaped marking on its body and, of course, its brown color. Doctors say if you're bitten by the spider, you'll feel the pain pretty quickly because of its venom. You'll also want to act quickly to make sure the initial small bump it leaves doesn't turn into this or worse. And they are very fatal because they contain this venom which can cause, which can cause uh, some destruction in the skin and also it spreads uh, rapidly in the body. If you think you've been bitten, you should immediately apply ice, wash yourself thoroughly with cool water, and most importantly get medical aid where they can give you special treatment. But you shouldn't try to remove the venom yourself. Officials say the spiders like dark areas, like cluttered spaces and bathtubs. So it won't hurt to use some extra caution when you're around those areas. Uh, the bathtub is uh, a prevalent place because it's slick on the bottom and the spiders get trapped in there and they can't get out. So oftentimes people will get bitten whenever they're taking a bath if they don't see the spider. Now again, deaths from recluse spiders are very rare. In fact, the Center for Wound Care at Regional Hospital says they've only had to treat one serious spider bite this year. However, they believe there have been more bites, just not everyone seeks treatment as they should. Back to you. Thank you, Rodrell.